Satanic statement number seven, Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, more often worse than those that walk on all fours, who because of his divine spiritual and intellectual development has become the most vicious animal of all. This is, in my opinion, the absolute most important statement of Satanism, particularly as it pertains to any real understanding of Satanism as a philosophy of nature. Okay, as a transhumanist, what I would like to say is the primary issue with transhumanism is that transhumanists like to overlook the mensch on the way to the ubermensch. Remember, uh, Anton LaVey borrowed heavily from Nietzschean existentialism. This is not Nietzschean existentialism. Uh, Nietzsche was not a fan of Darwinism. If you uh, ever read Nietzsche, Nietzsche did not believe in Darwinism. However, we know Darwinism to be the truth. Um, so how this works out is, and I believe this with my whole heart, this is not a lie, until man becomes comfortable with himself as an animal, with his animal limitations and his animal attributes, his animal mind, his animal understanding, his animal instincts, uh, instincts, lust, greed, hatred, envy, all the things that make us an animal, until we can become comfortable with these things and recognize that they're real, we cannot move beyond them. It is not a matter of overcoming nature or subduing nature. The use of science is not to subdue nature. The use of the intellect and philosophy is not to subdue nature or overcome nature. It is to utilize natural law as a means to make ourselves more than we are, to achieve the things like immortality, to overcome things like human frailty, not by subduing nature, not by overcoming evolution, but by utilizing nature and evolving ourselves beyond that which we are. Again, I would recommend in, in with this particular statement that people read the expression of emotions in humans and animals by Charles Darwin. I would also highly recommend that people look into uh, the book The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins and also The Descent of Man by Charles Darwin. I think that this is a very extremely important statement, not just for Satanists, but for anybody that wants to understand a truly carnal means of understanding the universe and their place in it. Man must understand his place in the universe if we are going to achieve anything in this world. And uh, it's, it's beyond any economic, political, social, anything. We need to be comfortable with ourselves first, whether you're a fascist, whether you're a Satanist, a Promethean, whatever. Being comfortable with who we are as what we are is rule number one.